unboxing, or in this case, unbagging with Big Mac B Pop Ginger. We are back for more licensed bargains, £10 lucky dip bags. And of course, we have to make our return to the mint green one. As you'll know from the last video, if you have seen it, I purchased three. That was back again. Three of these bags, the yellow, the mint green, and the kids' my rules or something I, I forgot the name already but it was quite a fun bag if you haven't checked that out go back and watch it if you want to see the previous videos and compare this minty green to the last one by all means i ain't gonna stop you get it done son you know it's the only way to play but basic rules are these 10 pound a bag five pound uh, five items per bag so literally effectively if you don't include postage two pounds per item can't really complain you're pretty much going to get your money back could be anything from TV, movies, pop culture. I think, I could be wrong, but I think I read that they say they estimate about £30 in retail value per bag. But I could be wrong on that. But even so, so far, you always get your £10 worth, so I'm excited. This particular one this time around, she's got a bit of weight to her. I can feel some pretty chunky items inside, so I'm looking forward to it. This here feels like it might be either a 3D mug or a figure of some kind. I can hear the crinkle of some smaller items around this side. So without further ado, when it gets off my pissing tub, we shall open her up. Right. So let's keep her here in frame and see what we're working with. So let's just... This might be a figure. Like an Eagle Moss style figure. Yeah, it feels like cardboard on the back plastic front. We'll start with this one. So it is, it's not an Eagle Moss figure, I don't think. Let me just double check. No, yeah, it is Eagle Moss. And this particular one is Captain America. Collector's model. Uh, I'm assuming it's from maybe one of the magazine series. Doesn't state on there exactly what particular run it's from. But we're starting with a Captain America. Let's just uh, see if we can pull him out a bit. Yep, so I just get a, I ain't got a, a turny thing, but I get a bit of a 360 on him. So it's got the nice detail on his shield. Costume running all the way around. That's not bad. You know. I think these Eagle Moss figures, uh, this one's very light. Cheaper plastic, so I'd say this is going to be a cheaper one. They run maybe a fiver, estimated, maybe five pound. That's not a bad start. What we got next? <laughs> Same but different. We pulled a similar style mug to this from the last one, the kids' bag. But these are like these are definitely children's mugs because they're a bit smaller. But this one's kind of cool. This this is a new one. So it is a Spider-Man themed. Looks like it's from the animated Spider-Man series, maybe the Ultimate Spider-Man series, but they've changed it up. Looks like uh, on the back, gives you a bit of a look at the kind of design you're working with. That's not bad. Again, mugs, usually anywhere from three to five pound on a retail basis. Real world basis, obviously a bit cheaper, but retail wise, it's kind of there. What's this then? It feels like a key ring might be our next item. Let's pull her out and see what we're working with. It is, so it's a Harry Potter key ring. And we have, uh, it's a rubber one, the Gryffindor key ring. As you know, when I eventually get on to doing mystery boxes of my own, things like this will be, if it's like a Funko Pop one, little things like this, I'll probably just chuck in for freebies. Or I'll eventually, you know, let me know down below if you like it. I might do my own versions of the like five items for £15, five items for £20, including postage. That kind of thing. I just like building up all the random crap that I have first. But that's not bad. These kind of keychains, they're usually anywhere from two to four pound, I'd say. Probably, well, we'll go middle ground. We'll go like three quid in value. So, so far we've pulled about, on an estimated basis, maybe 10, 10 or so quids worth. So I can't complain there. What's this 
fourth item here. I can't get a, a fit. It might be a fit. It's something in a cardboard box. Oh, okay. So it is a figure of some kind. It's a definitely for kids because it's only got seven pieces in it. It's some kind of a Playmobil. I haven't, I haven't pulled that out. It uh, looks like some kind of crazy dock. So it looks similar to... Um, Similar, but not exactly the same as Doc Brown. Something from Super 4. It's a random Playmobil playset for five plus. Random as hell. It's got Facebook and YouTube on top, so I'm guessing Playmobil has their own channel. Box is a bit beaten up, but who really cares? Something a little different, can't complain. Final item, let me just double check. The final item feels like a book, quite a thick one. So let's see what we're working with here. Okay, it is. We have a Doctor, I mean, I don't really read books, but that's actually not bad. A Doctor Who Myths and Legends, Epic Tales from Alien Worlds. Okay. This was, a, it says non-fiction. How the hell can it be non-fiction? Maybe, is it like a biography of? No, it, it's definitely fiction, so I don't know why it says that. It was 12 99 to start with though, but that's actually, I don't really do books, but that ain't bad. I think uh, there'll be some Doctor Who fans out there that would quite like that. But they were right when they said that they changed their contents up. Which is not bad. Uh, so, well, look, we're going to go 12 99 on the retail value for that. Because that's what it originally was. Uh, a Playmobil set like that. That's a minimum fiver, so let's call it 13, 18, another five, so 23. I'd say realistically, in retail value, we probably did get close to the £30 I think I saw about. So that's not bad. So let's just final recap it. Playmobil 7 piece set. Doctor Who book. Harry Potter Gryffindor. Keychain, children's size, Spider Man ceramic mug, and Eagle Moss Captain America figure. You know what? For 10 spondulies, again, I am happy. It's been that long since I've done the first one of this. I can't remember what I got in the first one. But I reckon this is possibly on par, very similar. So, you know, no complaints to be had. I can work with this nicely. Which talking actually just real quick of them five piece for fifteen pound geek boxes and things. I have one right here from Pop Figures, and this is being saved as the last video. And now, I mean, things change, but currently I'm saving it as the last video of January. So uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you fancy it, just to keep in track with that. Also, I will be doing my 500 subscriber giveaway this month. I know I keep having to delay it because of work. I, I'm getting there. Right now, money-wise, I'm waiting for waiting for payday near the end of the month because Christmas has rinsed me, as it has most people, and also trying to buy things to keep up the channel. But don't worry. If you've been following for that, you will. It will happen. And I've decided this, this is the official announcement. So I already announced that the first prize is going to be uh, a fifty pound voucher for, for uh, blimey, fifty pound voucher for pop figures, and I've realised that I don't really have the kind of things to put a custom mystery box together like I originally planned. So for the other two, I'm also going to pull two additional names, so three winners in total, who will also win twenty five pound each for pop figures because they have all kinds of stuff. So I figured that's probably the best way to get. It. So you'll get some pay if you win. You'll win 25 to 50 pound in page credit. Happy days. And then I don't know what I'm going to do for the thousand subscribers because that could take me another year or two at the rate of I'm growing. Who knows? We shall figure it out. But that was everything I had for you on this one, folks. So, you know, consider subscribing if you fancy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the bag. Let me know down below if you're going to get some of these yourself. And uh, that's about it. So, till next time, stay safe. Have a good day. And of course, live that pop fanatic life. Or in this case, mystery box and mystery bag life. I'll see you in a bit.